This morning, an update to a KDK investigation that we've been following for months. There is a new twist in the case against an armored car company in Bethel Park and a sheriff's department in California. Lindsay Ward joins us live in the studio to explain the latest on this. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning to you both here. Well, this morning it is business as usual for Empire Real Logistics, which is a Bethel Park armored car company, which has also settled its lawsuit with a California sheriff's office. Now, the company accused the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office of illegally seizing over $1 million in cash that it was transporting from medical marijuana businesses. According to the son of San Bernardino, the settlement for no financial compensation allows the company to resume services after two trans transports of money were stopped back in November and December. Deputies said in a search warrant that there was probable cause of felony was committed when the vehicle was stopped and about $700,000 was seized. It is important to note here that the industry largely operates on a cash basis and that it's not uncommon for them to use armored vehicles to transport large amounts of money. Cannabis businesses are not allowed to use traditional methodologies for payment. So although most businesses are able to take Visa or MasterCard or, or other similar forms of electronic payment, uh, cannabis businesses are not allowed to do that. In a statement, the sheriff's department said that it recognized the company acted in good faith. Earlier on, the company reached an agreement with the FBI and other agencies for them to return the money. The company said not only do they operate legally here, they look forward to continuing serving serving businesses without any disruptions. Heather. Lindsay,